Alrighty, time for a Blender tutorial, and uh, this one is about baking textures onto objects. So here we have a building, as you can see from this floor plan here, uh, this is part of a, a campus. I'm building an entire college campus here for a project I'm doing, and uh, this is one of the buildings, the engineering building here, and as you can see, it's already been textured, and if we look at the, uh, if we go through here, you can see there are several different um, different materials applied to this object and you know each different materials you know I've done UV mapping for everything and stuff like that so uh, once I've gotten the mapping and stuff done the way I want uh, I can go ahead and and render it uh, let's see here F12 okay so you just render it out make sure that the lighting and stuff is the way you want it alright so now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake all of these textures onto uh, all these uh, image maps and, and UVs onto one uh, texture and that way um, when I bring it into a game engine like unity or something I'll only have to deal with one uh, image and also it will bake all the shadows and stuff onto this object so that um, I'll be able to uh, you know I won't have to relight the thing and stuff like that so so what you do is it's simply um, let's go ahead and switch over to the object data tab here under UVs alright I'm gonna hit the tab to go into edit mode and I'm gonna select everything hitting A twice You'll see that I've already got some UVs in here, but uh, you can have multiple UV uh, maps per object. So I can just go ahead under object data. I'll just go ahead and click on plus under UV t texture. I'm going to call this um, Kaufman baked UVs. Okay. So make sure that you've created the new map and that the new map is selected. And then just go ahead and hit shift A for everything twice and hit U to unwrap and just go to UV uh, smart UV project accept the defaults okay if you want you can go in here and clean this up maybe go into UV pack islands so that everything's nice and make sure all the UVs are inside this grid here okay so now we've created the UVs you'll see here that the texture gets all messed up but that doesn't matter uh, because we're gonna do something with this in a second here uh, the next thing we do need to do is we're gonna bake the UVs to an image so let's go ahead and create a new image Okay, I'm going to select the um, 1024 by 1024. Uh, if you're going to bake out to some sort of uh, like game engine or something, you have to make sure that the size is a power of 2, either 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024. I'll call this Kaufman Baked Image. Hit OK. OK. And then you'll see that you know the new blank image has been created. And this part here is actually very important. It's easy to forget. Um, you have to make sure that your UV map that's going to get the uh, image baked onto it is selected. All those UVs are selected uh, in here. And that the blank image is showing up in here. If you forget to um, do this or for some reason this doesn't happen, when you go to do the baking, you'll probably get this error that says that there's nothing selected. Okay. Once you see this in the UV image view, uh, you're, you're good to go. So I'll just hit, uh, I'll just go ahead over to my camera tab. I'm just going to hit tab to go back into my normal mode so I can see the image by itself. And um, I'm just going to go into my camera tab and scroll down here to the bottom under bake. Uh, we have several options for bake mode. So you can basically bake just the textures. Uh, you can bake the shadows, the ambient occlusion, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm going to go for full render in this case. But if you were doing for various different effects, you might want to bake each one of these out individually. Okay, so everything should be set up, so we'll just hit bake, and then you should see over here texture bake is in progress, and then if you have your UV window up, you'll see that the texture starts kind of baking here. Okay, if you don't see this happen, you, you, ha you forgot to probably do that one step where you select all the UVs and you select that uh, new image. Okay, so now we have baked the textures uh, onto this image so let's go ahead and you can see here on our image it's got a star next to it means the image has not been saved so let's go to image save as image okay and we'll just go to our folder coffin baked I'm just gonna keep that name I'm gonna save it up PNG is, is fine for the file type save as image 
Okay, might take a second or so. Okay, so that is that step is done. Now we've got that image saved. So let's go over to our um, our materials tab here and let's assign that new image to our object. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm just going to hit the plus key uh, to create a new material slot. And I'll just hit the plus under new to create a new material. I'll rename this coffin baked. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to assign this material to everything in this object. So I'll just hit tab, hit A twice to select everything. And with that new material selected, I'll just hit assign. You'll see that now everything has kind of gone uh, to gray because, you know, we, we haven't assigned this image to this uh, material yet. So now let's just go ahead with this new material selected. We'll just go and click on the texture tab and hit new. I'll call this oops, Kaufman Baked Text Texture. And under the image, uh, the type, I'm going to select image or movie. Uh, one thing to let you know, uh, another useful uh, aspect of this texture baking is that it in fact bakes, for example, these procedural textures, which will not show up in a game environment like Unity. It will, it will it will bake these as well if you select full render. So you can bake out these different um, these different uh, mathematically created textures that normally you wouldn't see. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> back to uh, the process here. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay, so I've got uh, the type set to image. And I'm going to go down under the mapping. I'm going to select uh, instead of generated. I'm going to select UV. I'm going to select that new UV map we created. That it was called coffin baked UVs. If you select the other map, then it'll look really weird because the other UVs may be very different from these ones that we created. Okay, and then under image, I'm just going to open, go and find that image that we did. Should be around here somewhere. There it is. Open it. Okay. And you should see here that we've already now gone from the object looking like it is, um, how can I say, you know, just, just beige and whatnot. You can go ahead and see that it's it's already, uh, everything is mapped on there. So now we just have just the one image mapped onto here. We can go back if we want, and we can get rid of everything else if we wish. Okay, so now we've gotten rid of everything else. We've just got this one image it's, it's very simple. We can edit this in Photoshop very easily if we wish. And um, there there you go. One image is, is much easier to load into an engine than a whole bunch. And uh, the UVs, you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, you just have one set of UVs now to worry about. So um, it's very useful. There's a lot of different methods that you can use this for in game engines and e even in your commercial work if you want to bake out the shadows they're very tedious to do take a long render time you can bake the shadows and everything onto the object uh, with your ambient occlusion and then you don't have to worry about those shadows anymore you can use a different rendering method for the rest of the scene uh, be aware though that if you do move the lights or move something in front here that uh, these shadows are in fact baked onto this object so if you rotate this object around for example you can see that the shadow areas do not, um, you know, dynamically move with the object. Those shadows are, in fact, baked onto this object, like the old uh, German silent movies used to do, like Cabinet of Dr. Caligari or something like that. But anyway, um, that's a technique. I hope you uh, get some use out of it, and uh, there you go.